we start this morning with breaking news coming overnight. Pro-Palestinian protesters stormed a Democratic gathering in New York. The after party following a Harris Walls campaign event in New York City's Harlem neighborhood. It turned ugly when demonstrators clashed with police as they tried confronting Democratic leaders. Protesters setting off smoke bombs and reportedly causing thousands of dollars worth of damage to the venue's outdoor space not long after Mayor Eric Adams and New York Governor Kathy Hochul endorsed Harris and Waltz. Helping us to break all of this down are Democratic strategist and News Nation contributor Kurt Bardella and professor at Washington University in St. Louis, Dr. Liberty Vetter. Good morning to you both. Well, let's start now with Alicia Neves outside of Harlem and outside that restaurant. Alicia, the site of the melee. Um, Alicia, this was definitely a scary reaction and a preview possibly of what we can expect to see at the DNC as they get ready to kick off on Monday. Yeah, Nick, I think that certainly is the concern here, right? What we saw kind of unfold here in Harlem could be what we see unfold, you know, later on in the week. Not necessarily the protests themselves, right? Because we know there are going to be dozens of protests across the country over the next couple of days and then certainly on Monday uh, during the start of the DNC. But that these protests unravel into chaos, again, like what we saw here in Harlem. Now, 100 or more protesters uh, we know, about 10 blocks from where we were at, were actually outside of a rally being held by New York Democrats, right? Uh, those protesters chanting things like, you set Harlem on fire, or you set Gaza on fire, excuse me, uh, and calling for a ceasefire. Now, attending that uh, rally, these Democrats in New York were people like Governor Kathy Hochul, uh, Mayor Eric Adams. In fact, at one point, Mayor Eric Eric Adams was giving a speech and was interrupted by protesters, and he responded to them essentially saying, quote, I don't mind you being across the street. I don't mind that you want to raise your voice, but the election is the real fight. Go out and vote. After that rally, though, where we're at now was kind of the after gathering of some Democrats. And this is where things kind of unfolded and unraveled into a bit of a, of a chaotic scene. This you can see right next to me is kind of a small restaurant here in Harlem. And you had those hundreds of protesters come to the small restaurant, pack the outside of this corner and kind of the outside venue of this restaurant, damaging some of the furniture here. You can see kind of that plot right there, of, of that plant right there, missing its pot uh, from just the chaos that unfolded here. But they went inside and they, again, they were screaming things like, you know, a ceasefire in Gaza. You set Gaza on fire, trying to kind of raise the alarm and be kind of the first of one of, of, of these protests that are happening kind of around the country. Um, we know that this unraveled in terms of there were smoke bombs out here. Again, this is a tiny little corner here uh, in Harlem. There were smoke bombs out here. There was clashes with police and thousands of dollars in damages to uh, the, this restaurant. Eventually, authorities were able to get everything under control. But to your point, Nick, the concern here is greater than what happened here today. It's, you know, what's going to unravel over the next couple of weeks? This is something that's going to continue to follow the Harris Waltz uh, campaign, Nick. Alicia, a question, though, for you. What do we know about the protesters? We saw several of them be, uh, being led away in handcuffs. Yeah, so right now it's it's a bit of a mystery in terms of who actually organized this event and, and this protest and demonstration. Uh, in terms of the protesters, we know from our affiliate here in New York, our, our News Nation affiliate WPIX, that more than a dozen people were taken into custody. Some of those people were actually apprehended um, and some of the people were actually uh, given summonses. So unclear who organized this, but it was a very organized uh, event and certainly one that turned into chaos here, Nick. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.